Hello everybody, Mike127 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Last time we finished the last normal level of World 1, and with that we have unlocked both the boss level down here, which we're going to be doing in just a bit. We also unlocked the K level. Um, the K levels are bonus levels that are super difficult that you unlock by getting all the Kong letters in, like, in all the levels in the world and these are gonna be done at the very end of the project after I beat the main game I'm gonna save these all for the end that's what I did in the last uh, LP of Junker Country Returns and I do it for this project as well so these are all gonna be saved for the end they're all gonna be pretty much blinded too but um, yeah we're not gonna be worrying about the K levels until the very end anyway something that I am worried about is the boss fight Let's do it. I'll talk about when we get there. All right. So the boss is in this game. I am gonna. I'm gonna keep Diddy. I think Diddy's fine for this. But um, bosses in this game, I don't really like them. Let's give you the cutscene here. Yeah, so, like I was saying, the bosses in this game are kind of a pain in the ass because they take forever. They're good, don't get me wrong, they're good, they're, they are well designed. You can tell that Retro put a lot of love and care into them, but they're just so lengthy and there's just so much that goes into them that, honestly, I just, I, I think, like, they could have cut some of it out. Bosses have a lot of phases to them. And it takes some trial and error to really get the hang of them. I think I can do this. I would like to have Dixie for this, so I probably should have waited. Oh shit, what, what happened there? I still got hit anyway. I, ha I just hate these bosses. I, I tend to... This is the only place where I will cheat and use the, the funky items. Because I just don't like doing these. It, like, after a while, I get sick of playing these, because they just take forever, and then, you know, like, you get to a part that you're not accustomed to, and you die on it, and they have to redo the entire thing. They just, they could have cut them down. I just wish they would have cut them down, maybe made them less hits to take out. That, I don't even know if I can hit him. I mean, yeah, this first boss isn't too bad, but... See, like, that I wasn't even expecting. Back. You just have to learn what the pattern is. Once you get, you know, like once you play it a few times, you'll know what to expect. But it's just, it just takes forever. Like you know, even in, in in the Super Nintendo games, they had multiple phases to them, but they were pretty simple and they were quick. And they could have been difficult too. I mean, like, yeah, some of those bosses in the Super Nintendo games, they were difficult, especially in the third game. I mean, the first game, they were a joke. The second game, they were moderate difficulty. In the third game, they are actually pretty difficult. But, I don't know, I just wish they would have done the bosses in this game more like the Super Nintendo games. They are a little more simple. I don't know if I have to jump on those little penguins or not. I'm doing pretty good here. I don't want to <laughs> jinx myself by saying that. I just hate the fish. I plop around. What happened there? What did I just do? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so pissed if I die. Oh my god, I'm just afraid of that damn prickly thing. Okay, I have to get a heart, man. I don't know what he's gonna do. I think I, if I try to jump on him there, I'll get hurt. Oh, maybe I can... See? Uh, see? I, I didn't know if I couldn't jump on him there. There's a lot of how, like in these boss fights, there's, there's a lot of just like, how would I know that that was going to hurt me? Or just how would I supposed to know that? I don't know, it's just these boss fights, they bother me. 
But that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I'm gonna go with Dixie now. Alright, I can cut back in now. Really, these bosses, they're all like final boss fights. That's, I guess that's thats my big gripe about them, is that they're just... They're all unnecessarily long. Like, like sure, if you're doing the final boss, you can do it like this. But... This is just too lengthy, I'm sorry. Like, I think by now I should have beaten them, but... Nope, there's still more stuff. I think I just have to hit them one more time. I hope I have to hit them just one more time. Thankfully, I'm a lot further into it. Uh, see, that's not even fair! How am I supposed to dodge that? I jump on one enemy, and then the other one hits me. I Look at that. In one phase of fucking enemies coming at me, I've gotten down to one heart from full health. I'm going to die again just because of that. And I don't know if I can hit him in this phase or not. He should be dead by now. He should be dead by right now. It's so dumb. It takes forever. Like, I get the picture, guys. Like, isn't this enough? Isn't this enough? Thank you. This is my favorite part. Beat the shit out of him! Man! Sorry about- <laughs> Oh, man. I, was tur I turned into a demon right there. I turned into a demon right there. I apologize about that part. Um... It is the part that I like about it, is when you beat them, and and, and it, if you're using the shaking controls, that's the one nice thing with the shaking controls, that allows you to take out your frustration on those annoying bosses and just beat them up at the end. You get nothing for doing that, but it's just so satisfying. So, at least Retro was nice enough to do that, allow you to take your anger out on the bosses once you finish them. So, that's a nice touch, I will, I will give them that. Anyway, let's get one more level in before we end this episode. And it is the first level of... I don't even know what this world is called. But it's called a Windmill Hills. So that's what the level's called. I don't know what the world's called. I guess you can get one look at what the loading screen's like. Each loading screen is different uh, for each world. This is more like a prairie and mountain type world. Really, like, the worlds in this game, they're not as easy to really distinguish, like, what, what their theme is. The first one was like a beach, forest, jungle thing. I can't, I can't really tell you exactly what the first world, like, what the theme was, what, what the theme was for the first world. And this one, I can't really tell you either. It's kind of like a mountainous prairie world. I don't really know. Uh, we have Dixie only right here. I haven't practiced this level, so I don't really know what to expect here. Um, I have a lot more practice with the later part of the game, because, like, like, the last half of the game, like I said at the beginning, was where I started to actually enjoy myself and start to have fun, because I changed my Wiimote control scheme. And those are the levels I remember more, because I, I was enjoying myself more. Here, I was just getting frustrated by the controls. It, it, like, it, it, it really is ironic how the, the biggest complaint that I had from the original game turned out to be my saving grace for this game. And I guess it's just because I, I put so many hours into Donkey Kong Country Returns is that, that I was just used to the motion controls. Yes, they weren't perfect. I wasn't a big fan of them, but I was at least used to them. And I guess that's... I guess that was just it. I just found something that was comfortable for me to play in. And voila, I guess I was just uncomfortable with the Pro Controller. Weird how that turned out. Anyway. Uh, we have some new enemies here, these owl guys that are kind of the flying enemies of the game. I don't think we saw anything like that in the first world. Or maybe we did. We probably did see them in the first world. But they're a lot more common in this world. Uh, these big guys that take three hits to take down, you find them. Oh my goodness, it almost killed me. Thank you, Dixie. Dixie will save your ass and stuff like that. Uh, we have circles here. We can get something out of that, but I don't care. I'm just going to speed through this level. Because I, quite frankly, don't give a damn. There's a lot of stuff hiding under these uh, piles of leaves here. So i got to look out for that. But sometimes there'll be enemies. Uh, rare barrel blasting segment. This game doesn't have a lot of barrel blasting segments, which is a big disappointment, I find. I've always liked barrel blasting in Donkey Kong Country games. And it's weird because in the in the rare rare games, 
uh, they get less frequent in those games as well. There's barrel, there's like barely any barrel blasting in Donkey Kong Country 3, and there's like, there's, there's really not that much in Donkey Kong Country 2 either. The first game had tons of it. It's almost like they're they're paying tribute to the SNES games by not putting a lot of barrel blasting in the sequels. Which is ironic how that works out. Uh, yeah, those those patterns, they usually don't get you anything good. Of course, these things come back. Uh, these You've probably seen a few of those in the first few episodes. I know I encountered them a few times. Um, I can demonstrate here. I'll, I'll lose Dixie in the process, but if you can use this Diddy Barrel and throw it at this, you can get a puzzle piece. So, yeah, those were always house puzzle pieces. All you have to do is just throw something at them. Those were from the first game, so don't really need to explain them too much. And again, because I'm getting, not even worrying too much about puzzle pieces, I guess I don't have to really say much about them. Let's see what we can find here. Nothing? Yeah, sometimes you just find nothing in that. This might be a bonus. No. What is, what is this? What is this? There's nothing down here. Is this like an exit point? This looks like there's something there. By the way, be careful with these guys. They have spikes on their head, so you have to roll through them. Or you can kill them with Cranky. Those are an example of an enemy you can kill with Cranky. These guys, I guess we're doing an enemy tutorial now. These guys with the helmets, they don't die when you jump on them. They just go on their back and you can use them as a projectile to throw at things. Like that bag that I just showed off earlier. This is weird. I see something between the cracks there. You see that? Maybe if I roll... Or no, maybe I need Rambi. Yeah, Rambi returns in this game. Maybe I have to come back with him. This might be where you introduced Rambi. Um, yeah, I was going to talk about the animal buddies, but I want to see if I can find Rambi before I start talking about him. It's weird. Maybe I passed him. Let's see. I, I wouldn't imagine having to come back with him. I might have passed him, which I want to go back and get him if that's the case. There might even be a secret exit in this level, I'm not sure. I don't know the secret exits very well. In fact, there's still some that I haven't gotten in my original playthrough. So, I might be doing some blind searching for secret exits as well. Shit, there's something up there. Let's get rid of that guy. I want to get something out of this. I just wish I could find Rambi so I could talk about him. I guess I still could. Let's do this first. I think I know what this is. Yeah. This one, I just shoot like crazy for. Um, as long as you don't shoot down in these barrels that are like that. As long as you don't do that, <laughs> then you're fine. I just shoot like crazy in that minigame. And I usually end up getting it. Oh well. No big deal. I don't know if you can redo it. Yeah, in the first game, you couldn't really redo bonus stages as well, which is kind of a shame. I know the SAS games, you could redo a lot of the bonus stages, depending on how you had to get to them. Yeah, I guess we're not getting Rambi, but I guess I can talk about him anyway. Yeah, Rambi does return in his game. Um, he functions the exact same way as he did in the first game, and unfortunately, he's the only animal buddy, which is a real shame. I thought... We, you know, with the addition of water levels, they could have in included on guard as well, just because he was so uh, so popular from the original series. He was, I mean, he, I mean, he was the only animal buddy that was in all three games on guard. So, um, you know, like he was in more games than Rambi was. You know, they were both in Donkey Kong 64 as well. So. It's weird how On Guard wasn't included in this game. He could have been included. I think he would have made a good Animal Buddy. Um, I don't really ask for too much with Animal Buddies, but I thought it would have been nice to also have On Guard for some of the water levels. I thought it just, it just made sense. Oh well, that's the way it goes. I'm not going to cry over it. Like, Animal Buddies aren't that important to me, but it still, it still would have been cool. It's, it's, just, it's just odd. Like, it's just an odd non-inclusion, I guess. And, you know, in that sake, Rambi isn't used that much in this game. I think he's used a lot less in this game than he was in the first game. And even the first game wasn't used that much. It's just strange. Like, Animal Buddies were just such a big part of the SNES games, and they're just barely used in these games. And I thought, with Retro's creativity and how they design levels, it's just odd how they've... Kind of given the shaft to the animal bodies. 
Oh well. Again, something I'm not gonna cry about. Let's just finish the stage. I don't even know if I got Kong. I just like thought about that as I finished the stage. Did I get the G? Sometimes I just don't notice when I get Kong. It's I don't know. It's it's just the way it goes sometimes. I just don't notice it. Which I guess that just shows how easy it is to get Kong. It's so easy you don't even notice yourself getting it. I promise it was a lot diff more difficult in the first game, I think. But, okay, Autumn Heights is the name of the world. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the theme of the world then. Autumn Heights, Autumn Mountain. Because I noticed that a lot of the levels in this world are autumn-themed with the colored leaves and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. We will continue with this world next time, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Mike127. And I will see you in the next episode of Tropical Freeze. Peace out, everyone.